an album, it's an intimate thing. It has to be. The show centers around a band from the 70s. What 70s band would you love to see or love to perform with? Fleetwood Mac is such an obvious choice, but I love their music. I love what they are and what they gave to the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Led Zeppelin because when I was a teen, I was so obsessed with, with, with them. And I would hang out on the Sunset Strip and pretend I lived in the 70s and I got a Led Zeppelin tattoo. <laughs> It was just like my like teen obsession. Oh, maybe a Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> Go right back to the early 70s. <laughs> I kind of would like to see a police reunion tour. Those three guys, I mean, no offense to Sting, but I want to see a police reunion tour. Sly mm. and a Family Stone. I would have loved to go to like a psychedelic concert in that time as well. Having been to quite a few psychedelic <laughs> events in my heyday in the 70s. Um, I would have to opt for Parliament Funkadelic with George Yes. Clinton. I would have liked to have seen them in the 70s. You write songs about who you wish you were, not who you are. You all seem like a family on screen. Did that dynamic transfer off screen? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> there was just a lot of fun throughout the jam sessions that we'd have between takes. I remember singing Enrique Iglesias, Hero. I have that on camera. Uh, yeah, there's a few things. I'm gonna, put it on, I'm gonna on send the it out. <laughs> we'd lost our minds. Yeah, we'd lost our minds. <laughs> you know, I hung out with a lot of those cast members away from the set, which you, know, as a rule, I try not to do, but I really liked them. They're all charming and they're all like beautiful, so it's really easy to be around them. Who was the biggest prankster? It was me. <laughs> oh my god. I had some really bad dad jokes. That's about as far as it went for me, but <laughs> Josh, Josh certainly has his dad jokes down and great puns, which always get me. <laughs> he also got electrocuted. He did get electrocuted by Which was by crazy a by an amp. But he, Josh would never complain. No, so it's he that was thing like, where just got electrocuted. <laughs> Sam also has like crazy dad jokes. Yeah, he does. Like Sam will just hit you with a one-liner that you're like, you're such a dad, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even pretend. <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun together. And even like when we would have like little bickers on set, like snarky little comments, <laughs> we would just feel like family. Did you guys want to record something or fight more? I'm fine either way. What behind the scenes moment did you really feel like a band? Oh uh, man. There were so many. This is not like a regular show where you work together for like a couple months or something. Like we were together for a long time. We had three months of band camp together and we had uh, a year and a half with the pandemic and then another three months of band camp together after that as like a refresher. We did a, a, a live performance for about a hundred people. It's kind of like a, look, we learned the album thing. <laughs> and so I think like at that point, I remember we all, uh, we were in costume. Yeah. We uh, took a shot of tequila together and went on oh stage. Oh my god, right, I forgot. Yeah, I think like at that point, it gelled us. Yeah, I think, you know, getting up on stage in the middle of the night and being sprayed down and rubbed down with baby oil to get all sweaty and then smashing <laughs> these drums, it was like, yeah, okay, I think I can believe this, this makes sense. <laughs>